Good morning, brothers and sisters. I welcome you to our daily devotion insight. And this morning, I would like to share a devotion that I entitled it as The Purpose of Wealth. I will read from the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verse 21, just the second portion of the scripture. It says, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Uh, just uh, yesterday, my daughter was sitting in front of me, you know, we were having breakfast, and suddenly out of the blue, she just exclaimed and proclaimed, Daddy is a billionaire. I said, why do you think Daddy is a billionaire? Because Daddy already working. And Daddy working means making money, and making money, Daddy is a billionaire. Okay, so I say, okay, that's your reasoning. I was intrigued to, 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 to see where is she trying to bring this conversation to. And she revealed her motive. If daddy is a billionaire, then 200 ringgit is a cheap thing, isn't it? See, she wanted to buy something for herself. And you know, being a young mind, she already learned the importance of money. Okay, so uh, she was very young, so it wasn't a teachable moment. But when the time will come, I would like to teach her about the purpose of wealth and purpose of money. Uh, I thank God that God that He enabled me to work. I'm able to work. I'm able to generate income. So my family is provided for. Uh, their needs are met, and they live comfortably. I thank God for that. You know, but as a Christian, okay. What is the purpose of wealth? You know, when I was growing up, when I was a young Christian, I have this false presupposition, you know, that anyone who creates wealth, anyone who works after money is evil, all right? Uh, this mindset comes from passages like, you know, uh, the love of money is roots of all kinds of evil, you know, in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10, which is true, okay? But as I grow older, then I learn more about the Bible, then I realize, you know, uh, that the plenty of Bible verses that encourages hard work, you know, how to live, how to live prudently, how to uh, do income generation, how to live an inheritance for your children, which is a noble thing, okay? The Bible talks about money and wealth all the time. <laughs> so now, come back to the question, uh, what is the purpose of wealth, okay? Uh, one very materialistic view uh, in this world is that, uh, the, have you heard of this statement? You know, he who dies with the most toys wins. <laughs> but in the truth, he who dies with the most toys still die. Okay? The win in wealth is not toys. Okay? The win in wealth is found in the purpose of money. Okay? Uh, I like this guy, Dave Ramsey. You know, you might not heard of him, but I like this guy. He's a he's a popular American uh, finance talk show host, and he said it very well. You know, he has this uh, finance plan. He called it Seven Baby Step Program, where he teaches all his students how to live a debt free life. You know, and how to create wealth. You know, once your debt is settled, then how do you create wealth? Okay, and what you do when you reach that level that your income is greater than your expenditure. He never encouraged people to spend it on themselves. He encouraged it to give it away. <laughs> and he said it very well. The whole purpose of being wealthy, it is not for ourselves, but it's to give it away. It's to, and, and being Christian is for us that is to help others and to finance the purpose of the kingdom. So now, what does God want us to do with our money? What does God want us to do with our wealth? God calls on us to give tithes and offering. Book of Malachi chapter 3, okay, in Proverbs chapter 3, uh, to the local church. One of the worshipful, most worshipful things that a believer can do ever do is give. And giving is a matter of heart, it's a matter of love, it's an act of love. And we offer ourselves first and give our wealth livingly, liberally, cheerfully, regularly, and proportionally. Okay? It's all written in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6 to 7, you know, and and, and, and the whole thing, okay, There's so many verses, okay, so the wind in, our, in this wealth, that is our greeting is greater. The more wealthier we get, the giving is even greater, okay. Wealth allows us to fund the kingdom's business, First Kings chapter 5 verse 7, you yeah? Even through tabernacle worship in our church, you know, I've seen that your giving, our giving, 
Okay. Even my giving, I also give. Do you know that we we, we full time workers, we also give. Okay? we also give to missions. We also give our tithes. Okay, not that we sit in the in the church doing anything. We all give. Okay, our giving has funded pastors, leaders, mission works. You know, we have established uh, orphanages, Bible schools in various nations. You know, plenty of who are sick, plenty of uh, 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 needy pastors, needy families were helped through our giving, through giving of tabernacle worship. So I thank God for a generous church that we are worshipping here. Amen. Right? TOW is a generous church. It is a giving church and I thank God for that. So money matters. Wealth in the hand of a righteous man is noble. Amen. It is noble. So whether you are one or two or five talent person, as we have read earlier in the scripture, I pray that you'll be found faithful, whether you have one or many. I pray that you will show an increase. May you hear the words, well done, good and faithful servant. Welcome to welcome and share your master's happiness. May the word of the Lord bless you and go and work hard for the kingdom of the Lord.